all right guys so in today's video um i'm pretty much gonna be doing an oil change but i'm actually gonna i guess you could say review um the full moto drain plug which is pretty much this thing right here where it's the little locking mechanism and then the drain valve where instead of using a regular drain bolt uh, you just take that one off and then you replace it with this uh, so it comes with the I think this one's a fiberglass um, gasket and I think this is like brass so pretty much the same way as you put the bolt except this one has a little lever right here where you're able to just pretty much press it down or yep press it down and then to the side and then it closes and that's pretty much it so it makes it a lot easier for you to do, to do your oil changes because all you have to do is just kind of like press the lever and then it just starts to spill out I've seen a lot of people run it, it's made in Japan, and I, I saw mixed reviews, some people saying they don't like it, because what if you hit like a bump or something, and then like you scrape it, and it just like falls out, and that's why when it's locked, it has this little locking mechanism where it's, you see a little opening right there, what you do is just put it in there, slide it in there, and there, same now it can't come off it's locked in there and it should be good so yeah i'm pretty pretty much not really going to show you guys how to do oil change i already made a video about that and i think a lot of people already know how to do oil changes by now um so i'm just going to show you guys i guess how to install this and then how this works and then an overview if it's worth it I don't remember how much I bought it for. I think it was like 25 bucks on Amazon. We'll include a link down in the description and then I'll put the right part number and everything for this. Just because there's a couple of different ones for different cars. Just so you could get the correct thread size. So let's get started. So this was the last time I did an oil change was January 4th. It's already July 1st. So it's been a few months. I haven't really put that much miles. Maybe like 3,500 to 4,000. So it's pretty reasonable. I try to do my oil changes at least 2,500 to 3,000. But it is full synthetic. So it should be able to withstand at least like up to 5,000. But it's always good to take like extra measures. And the oil I'm going to go with is the model. 8100 eco last time i used pens oil pens oil is good but i feel like model is just a little bit better or not better but i just feel like um since i'm running the, the diff trans brake might as well just run the engine all model just stick to one brand pretty dark maybe I should start changing it a little bit more often um, this is a drain bolt there's no metal shavings or anything it has a magnet on this one and this is a crush washer one time use only don't reuse them no point in even trying to risk it so I am gonna hold on to this one I do have a spare but I'm gonna clean it and I'm just gonna throw it in my trunk just in case I ever do have an issue with the Fumoto drain valve. 
um, let's say I hit a bump in the road or something and then it kind of starts leaking or something I'll have this so let's plug it up Okay, so just a uh, FYI, when you guys are installing this, or girls are installing this, um, you hand tighten it, and then you get one of these wrenches right here. Um, on the instructions it said, I think one eighth. I grabbed the 19, and I grabbed the 19, and then you just turn it from the body, don't turn it from the um the head right here even though it has like you know the sides a hexagon for grip turn it from the body and just turn it just a little bit uh, don't cross thread it don't over tighten it um it's on there pretty sturdy and then just put the lock mechan locking mechanism so some people say it's actually above the subframe when it's not if anything it's kind of sticking out a little bit If you can see, that's the angle right there. Let me, let me try to get it up. There we go. You could tell that it's the little nipple part where the oil is going to come out of is passing the subframe and passing the headers. Um, you guys don't want to risk it, just go with the drain bolt. If not, then try that out. I am going to do an oil change probably like in 2,000 miles after this one just to see uh, just so I can see how it works if I feel like it's not worth it then I'll just go back to a drain plug because one thing that you are going to be missing is the magnet that attracts the little like metal shavings you're not going to have that with this one so you still have to do like normal oil changes by taking this off maybe like every third or fourth oil change just to make sure like if there's any like little metal shavings you take them off but just for quick oil changes this will suffice so let me add some oil and then we're all done so thank you guys for watching please like subscribe and share this video until next time guys